Welcome to another episode of Tea Talk. Back on our show today is Suzanne Williams, our registered acupuncturist here at Red Tree Wellness. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I hear you're going to talk to us today about press tack needles. Yes, I am. Tell us more. So press tacks are essentially one type of acupuncture needle. Mm -hmm. They're very tiny. They're very, very thin and very short, ranging from just 0.3 to 1.5 millimeters long. That's small. Very small. Um, they have a little piece of adhesive on the head of the needle so that it keeps them in place after mm -hmm. we place them on the body as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so why would you want to use it? We typically use them for very small people um, or uh, we use them on small body parts like hands mm -hmm. or ears. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any other reason why someone would, would want to use that or have that in their treatment? Yeah, so typically um, there's a number of uh, scenarios. So the first would be on children. They're small. <laughs> they tend to be a little bit wiggly, so they don't necessarily want to sit still for a very long period of time with needles sense. in. Mm -hmm. Sure, um, and it's very gentle and, and a wonderfully uh, effective way to use uh, needles with children. Um, we also use them for very needle sensitive patients of mm -hmm. any age, mm -hmm. and they're so gentle that most people tell me that they don't even feel the needle going in. Right. Mm -hmm. It's so small. They're so small. Okay. And then the third and most common reason uh, for me is to use it as a form of take home acupuncture. Mm. So after an acupuncture or a knot treatment, I can place the press tax on and the patient can leave the clinic with them on and it kind of prolongs the effects of the treatment they just had. Right. And more of a continuous treatment. Exactly. It continuously oh, stimulates the acupoint. Great. So mm -hmm. you're going to show us how it's done? I am. Great. So I'm going to show you um, some points that I might use if a patient is being treated for headaches and I would put press tax on uh, after their acupuncture or their Twayna treatment. So this is a press tack that we use here in the clinic. Uh, I'll open it up and give you a look here. As you can see, it's very easy for me to um, keep safe and clean. I, you probably can't even see the needle because it's so tiny. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So this is just a 0.9 millimeter needle. Okay. So essentially what I would do is just apply it almost like a band-aid. Just lay it on the point that I'd like to stimulate. Make sure the adhesive is firmly down. And then there's a tiny little uh, bump, or some people call them buttons, on top of the actual adhesive. So you can feel the top of the needle. And we have uh, people press the needle as needed through the day, basically, um, to continue their treatment. Okay. Great. So how would I remove them? So the same thing, just like a Band-Aid. So I can peel it off quite easily. Of course, it's new on. <laughs> Peel it off. And then the difference between uh, this press tack and a band aid is that, of course, you want to cover up the little sharp end. So I would just fold it over itself so that none of the sharp end is sticking up before I throw it in the garbage. And then at that point, you can just throw it in your home garbage just like you would a band aid. Oh, very great. safe. Thanks for showing that to You're us. very welcome. That was really great. You're How very would you summarize everything for us then? So I would say the, the best thing about press tacks is they're very small and very gentle. So we can use them on small kids, mm -hmm. we can use them on very needle sensitive patients, and patients can even wear them home as a form of take home acupuncture. Right. Oh, that's really great to know. So let us know if you'd like to help you with press tack needles, book in with Suzanne Williams here at Red Tree Wellness. Also let us know what other topics you'd like to learn about and we'll put them on the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.